Hello, welcome to Subjective Insights. Haven't really been having the best time of my life recently. Um, something tragic has occurred c concerning my on-off girlfriend for the last four or five years. I can't go into details because I don't want to breach her privacy, but it's been incredibly painful for me seeing, in a sense, somebody that I deeply love broken. Um, but it's taught me things. It's, 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 it's shown me. I can use the the, the 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 metaphor of alchemy for it. You know the practice of turning base metals into gold, turning shit into gold, um, where you take these painful occasions and strongly emotional occasions that occur within life, and instead of wallowing and allowing them to destroy you, you take that fire and you pour it into the crucible and you put your soul in there, by which I mean your character, your kind of personality, and you use that, that powerful, apparently negative energy to reconstruct yourself. Um, not always in a dramatic, full-on, total deconstruction and then reconstruction, but you, you, you channel it into positive avenues of creation. So in my case, through I'm quite lucky, and, and this also showed me the benefits of maintaining a discipline such as weight training, or as I'm currently doing, calisthenics, because the gyms are closed. In uh, have, having an activity that you've become used to and you've learned makes you feel good, that requires a total expenditure of physical energy, is such a good release of that emotional energy. I mean, that I still have that niggling voice at the back of my head going, come on, Chris, go on, smoke a spliff. That's what you want to do. You want to hide away in your room and just, just kind of nullify it and numb the pain. That's it. The pain is bad, Chris. The pain is bad. But no, that pain is useful. It is useful. And in a sense, that's kind of what magic's all about, taking these energies and channeling them. Um, but you've got to take an active kind of role in that. You can't just sit back passively and react to these kind of energies the, the way you do when you're unconscious. You, uh, and, and to numb them's not the good thing. Suffering is and can be a good. I'm not saying you should inflict it upon us is all that I would ever dream of doing it intentionally. But, or, or have a dream of undergoing suffering intentionally. But when it happens, there's two ways that people can react. That, that they can either solidify themselves and try to stop this supposedly negative thing from happening, which they can't really, or they can try and deny the negative emotions that arise from it. And you can deny it, it's easy to lie about stuff, but this will just maintain them. And, it, and, and you're, you're reinforcing the fear that you have of these negative emotions by doing that. You're validating them as negative emotions and, and, and thus making, making sure that you remain susceptible to them in the future. Uh, I mean, not only have I found that working out is a brilliant thing, I, I've been on and off meditating for years now, I think six, seven years it's been. And um, when the anxiety is there, I mean, normally I, I'll focus on, on my hands. Uh, when I meditate or focus on my breath. But when you have such a strong, anxious feeling that's caused by somebody that you love being in a difficult position, um, being broken in a sense, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, meditation. So when you have that going on, it's almost impossible to ignore it and focus on like your hand or your or your breath, the things I call an anchor. But what you can do, you you can focus on that feeling, you can focus on that emotion. Give it, the, in, in kind of namby-pamby terms, permission to exist and be there, and you just allow it, and you focus on it, and you accept it, and you love it, and it doesn't necessarily go away. That's not the aim of the game. The aim of the game, in a sense, is to be okay with not being okay. It's to allow these feelings there, and, and, and you'll find that you'll go so deep sometimes in there. The anxiety doesn't go away, the heart's still racing, but I, I still got this massive feeling of expansiveness within that emotion and through that emotion and from that, and it was that emotion. 
you just accept it all. That's the true power of mindfulness and meditation, and in a sense is the alchemical practice of turning shit into gold. Goodbye!